Grade Eleven Physics Experiment Eight: Electromagnets. The aim of this experiment is to investigate the magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor. You will need the following apparatus: two bar magnets, a resistor, a switch, aluminium foil, four cells. A ruler, scissors, piece of A4 paper, two nails in a test tube rack, connecting wires, and a pencil. Cut a strip of foil about one centimeter wide and about twenty centimeters long. Hang the aluminium strip so that it lies horizontally between the nails. Connect the foil to four new cells: a resistor and a switch.
turn on the switch. Hold the north and south pole of two bar magnets on either side of the foil. Observe what happens to the foil. Note the polarity of the magnets and the direction of the flow of current. Do this again, but this time change the polarity of the magnets and observe what happens. Again, repeat this step, but this time change the direction of the flow of the current on the foil. We observed that the foil experiences a force, the direction of which can be determined using Fleming's left-hand motor rule, which states that you hold your thumb, the forefinger, and the second finger of the left hand at right angles to each other. The forefinger points in the direction of the field, north-south, the second finger in the direction of the current. Then the thumb points in the direction of the force or thrust that is experienced by the conductor, in this case the foil. When you change the polarity of the magnets, the same observations can be seen, except the direction of the force is opposite to the one in step six, which is when we repeat the experiment but we change the direction of the flow of the current on the foil. In conclusion, we can say that a current-carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field experiences a force. This phenomenon is called the motor effect. This force is caused as a result of an interaction between the magnetic field and the permanent magnets and the induced magnetic field around the conductor. When the two magnetic fields are moving in the same direction, they result in a stronger field. When they move in an opposite direction, they form a weaker field, and the conductor is always pushed towards the weaker field.